Well, we got a pretty interesting update on Superman Legacy from James Gunn himself. And I have to say, these tidbits of news is likely to make some fans pretty upset. Let's talk about what's going on with Superman Legacy, how long the script has been in the works, and how Henry Cavill kind of got screwed here. Well, poor Henry Cavill. I have to say, he has gotten the shaft from DC Films. Earlier today, we started to get some news from James Gunn about the upcoming Superman Legacy script and which projects are already in production. Now, he did clarify both Creature Commandos and Superman Legacy are currently in the works, but he did reveal he has been working on that script for a really long time. Now, what James Gunn confirmed was that he had been working on Superman Legacy over six months ago, meaning back in September, before Black Adam was even released. He also confirmed it was always a separate project from Man of Steel, which apparently was in development at the same time. This means that all the stuff that happened with Superman and Black Adam was happening while Warner Brothers Discovery was already working on a separate Superman project. Now, it's very possible that they had James Gunn working on this because they were pretty unhappy with all the takes for Man of Steel 2. And given what happened with Black Adam, that may have just solidified the whole situation. Now, this all appears to be coming straight down from David Zaslov, and I have to say, it really appears to me that he was kind of playing both sides of the fence and seeing which way this would go. If you look at the timeline, it kind of does make sense. Black Adam was released on the 21st of October, about six weeks or so after Gunn says he started working on the script. It had a real crap opening weekend at the box office with critics and with fans. And then on the 25th of October, Gunn and Safran are announced as head of DC Studios, and the trap doors start opening up, dropping actors like Henry Cavill. Now, there's good news and bad news in all of this. I think Henry Cavill is unlikely to ever work with Warner Brothers again or even take up the character. It seems like he kind of got played by all sides. Clearly, The Rock did a power play to try to get that cameo into the movie, and we know he jumped over a lot of heads, and ultimately it went very, very poorly, leaving everyone out in the cold. Now, as far as Superman Legacy goes, though, this is a bit of good news. With Gunn working on the script for over six months, it means he's about finished, and he has made it pretty clear that casting news will come after the script is finished. That means in the next couple of weeks, we're very likely to start getting some names attached to the project in the form of maybe a director and even a lead actor, as well as some supporting roles. Now, Gunn has also doubled back on some of the details about this version of Superman, stating that he's younger than the Henry Cavill version, but pushing back a little bit on that 25-year-old number we've been hearing thrown around quite a bit. He's made it pretty clear he just said younger, and Batman might be a few years older, but he's never attached any numbers to any of these roles, so he probably should just stand by and see who gets cast. Whoever's cast as Superman should give us a general idea of the age frame he's looking, and then we'll finally know where he might be going with Batman and other characters. Now, this movie doesn't release until July the 11th, 2025, so we have a long road for Superman Legacy. This film is hugely important to DC Studios and will serve as the foundation of this soft reboot of the whole DC Universe. There's been absolutely no news about villains, but we do know it's going to focus on Clark in Metropolis and his life at the Daily Planet, suggesting we're going to see a lot of Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen, Perry White, and many of the other personalities that inhabit the Daily Planet building. I really do hope this is a Metropolis-focused story with some classic Superman villains. I would love to see the likes of Parasite, Toy Man, or Metallo finally come to life on the big screen. But we'll have to wait and see.